clothes on, outfit. It's good to feel that way about yourself, feel that energy up. Because like you said, if you feel it through the screen, when I did it, and that wasn't really full force, if you do that every day and you're, you're balancing your energy and your self-esteem and you're healing yourself and you do that in the house and you go out, people are going to be like, ooh. You know, they're going to be drawn in because your energy is so confident and it's so strong and it's so sensual. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at part C. I didn't know you drank that thing down in one. <laughs> I do. I drink my juice like that. I'm like, don't play with it. So whenever I make juice, I just drink it. Oh, no. Uh, is it hot? It was hot in my, th- like, the aftermath. Like, when I drank it down, my throat felt hot because of a little bit of pepper. Okay. But see, too, you have to breathe really deep. I guess I drink it so fast. You have to also remember, you're drinking pure oxygen because all that stuff is raw and it's still alive. When you cook collard greens and stuff, you're killing a lot of the live enzymes. Yeah. So to make me feel better and help my body regenerate, I like to drink it raw. But it'll it'll make you feel lightheaded, a little bit dizzy. At first, and then that ginger is warming, so I put a big old piece of ginger in that. It made me feel a little warm, and then the pepper. So I just had to really focus and breathe because I knew that since I wasn't really breathing deep, I had to make myself remember to breathe deep. That stuff was pushing oxygen into my blood and to my cells. So it feels like a rush, but then you're going to feel really energized and just kind of warm. It makes you feel good. How you mm. drink this, like, You should drink it every day. Day. In between your meals. Okay. Or if you just want to do it at night. Because I know the, the main thing I'm concerned about, I watch what I eat and drink at night because I notice that you, I get dehydrated. A lot of people get dehydrated in their sleep and they don't know it because you're sweating and you're moving in your sleep and you don't know it. So I notice if I eat like potato chips or bread or something, I will wake up feeling really dry and my face will be puffy. So I had to stop drinking like a lot of like dead stuff or bread or, or I had to cut out all the fried stuff and white flour, especially if I'm going to eat something at night. It needs to be something juicy and moist like a piece of fruit or a salad. I can eat a salad like a, two hours before bed, and I'll be okay. I won't get dried out in my sleep. But I was thinking I drank that. Right after I drank that, I went home and got ready for bed. And I woke up feeling really, really good, and I wasn't swollen, wasn't puffy, wasn't dried out, wasn't real thirsty. So I'm thinking if you're going to do it, it's good to do one in the morning and then wait like 30 minutes, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, and if you want to have – some oatmeal, a protein drink, some cereal or something, with some soy milk, you can do that. That's a perfect way to start your day. Or you can have it at lunch, you know, wait like 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes, eat your salad. And right before you go to bed, along with water, if that's the last thing you're drinking, you got to realize that's a, the best thing you can do for your body because it will help your body clean itself in your sleep. Hmm. Yeah, I got to get me a juicer. Get me a juicer. I ain't going to get me no juice. Yeah, and you can also Anyways. blend up stuff, too, in the blender. If you want the pulp, sometimes that's what I do during the day. If I had today, I have my greens in a blender. And um, you can put, your, like, your little season to it if you want to in the blender or some salad dressing or a little water to lubricate. You don't want it dry. And you can actually make a drink out of your vegetables or your fruit or make a smoothie in the blender, that way you're getting the pulp and not just the juice. So you can you can alternate. And it and it's good to help to clean your body out. When you're detoxing, it is a wonderful thing to do. And also get some liquid chlorophyll. That way your shit won't stink. Mm. Especially when people yeah. think because they have a lot of dead meat rotting up in them and they have worms living in them. You have to realize when worms are in you, they have bowel movements and they pee. Mm-hmm. So I heard a lot of people when my, I was little, my grandmother used to say, oh, they pee smell like real strong ammonia. That mm-hmm. means they got worms. And it's true because that's because the worms peeing and shitting in their body and having babies and laying eggs. And you got the carcasses, the shells from the eggs. You got a lot of filth laying up in you. And then there's somebody eating beef and pork that's got worm, pork has worms in it. That stuff is rotting up in them. You'll even see people that have big muscles and train. They eat a lot of protein, a lot of meat, and a lot of eggs and shit. They stink like hell, just like the lady was on there a couple of days ago talking about colonics. Even though they look muscular outside and they're building a lot of weight, they still got that stuff, that dry protein and meat packed all up in them, yeah. you know, and they're not really shitting it out. So that's why people stink so bad. But if, while you're cleaning, you need to detox the worms, drink a lot of water, and then take the liquid chlorophyll because you will notice that, 
when you start cleaning yourself out, your shit won't stink real, real bad because you don't have a lot of dead stuff up in you and you replace it with a lot of greens and living food. But meanwhile, since you're going to be at somebody's house or somebody's at your house staying, so you won't, you know, kill them, you really get some of that liquid chlorophyll. Take some in the morning. You can take a little at night, like a tablespoon in the morning and night. And the liquid chlorophyll is also oxygen for the blood, but it will deodorize your feces. Okay, is that us or is that somebody else's mm-hmm. phone? Hello. Hello. Hey, I, that was, I don't know if that was my phone or not. Exactly. I don't know. We just heard somebody's phone <laughs> ringing, so we didn't know if you spent them on a three-way to be on the show. Oh, oh no. I was answering. This is the bee's phone. I was answering it. <laughs> so I had just clicked over and just clicked back over. No, I, on the phone. I got the lines unmuted. I don't know. Did anybody else want to make a question, have a question or make a comment? While all the lines are open. Hello? Yes. Hey, um, well, I had a question and a comment. I just wanted to tell Crystal that um, her her daughter's not going to forget what she's doing because if anybody's been neglected or hurt or abused and they needed somebody to be there, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you could think back to when you wish your mom was there, and I just want to let you know your your daughter sees everything. She sees everything you're doing, and she won't forget it. She won't forget what they're doing to her either. But, um... That's that's just what I felt led to say with that. And the other thing was, Alexis, on your um, you posted something where you were talking about um, spiritual sex, and I think you were talking about a book, and that um, the man that don't want you, Matuna, sir. Could you spell that? M e t e r. Mhm. N e t e r. Okay. Well, that was basically it. Thank you so much for listening and supporting me and being here for the show. Thank, thank you. Thank you for that. While the lines are open, did anybody else want to say anything or any thoughts about the show today or any comments? I mean, even if you feel like I was wrong for, you know, talking to a little girl, well, the 17-year-old girl and... and trying to help her heal herself or wrong for saying what I said to the mother. I mean, I'm open to listening to anybody else's feedback or comments. When was this? Huh? This was today? Yeah, the show I just did, talking about the 17-year-old girl and her mother attacking me. Hello? Did I have a business talking to her? Yes. Hey, Lexus, it's Civil. Hey. Hey. I just was um wanted to comment about the um cleaning that I was cleaning. Mhm. I didn't hear the other part, but I came in when you were talking about the cleaning. Um, the cleaning all of our systems and all on the show the other day. It was a really good show. Thank you. And yeah, that's I why I did the um juicing follow up show. That's why I did it to show people some of the things I do. Because a lot of people always ask me about hair and skin and diet. So I want to start putting those shows back up there. Yeah, that was a lot of good information, too. Because I, um, I've been grossed out about those worms ever since. Ew. Oh, you started doing <laughs> but, your, your detox? Well, I have. I bought that uh, super colon cleanser stuff, but that stuff was too strong for my system. It had me doubled over. Oh, see, it don't even phase me. I guess I don't got immune to the shit, but I'm saying I, the Parastroy, see, that's not a worm cleaner, though. That's a colon cleaner that's separate mm. from a parasite cleaner. You need to get something for parasites as well, not just the colon. Yeah, that's what I'm going to look into because I want to do it. I've been trying to do the cleaning out, you know, and uh, the green tea, but that's just like the... But see, green tea is not going to kill parasites or clean your whole body out, especially depending on what your diet is and... How often do you cleanse? And when the last time you did a parasite and a colon cleanse, see, just, I, I don't know where y'all get that from or if somebody told you that, but green tea is not going to kill worms and clean your system out. It just is not going to, I'm, mm-mm, no. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, Especially, I, you, you can't, I, I don't know what you're eating, but even if you were eating uh, a diet, you know, that, that was holistic, green tea does not kill worms. And clean your bowel, or is that what somebody told you? 
No, I was just saying that's just part of what I've incorporated.